we're back assembling the mermaid tail. We've got the fabric fin all done. Our monofin is staying in one piece. The taping is all done. Everything's attached. Hi. Uh, this is her gonna be right now. Um, so what I want to do, um, if you look at the tail, the way I have it now, I've got it face down and the cuts that we made have given these little flaps here because this is what used to be attached. So this just gives us a little more room to work. And what I want to do is when I'm done, I want the, the flip flops to not be able to be seen. So we need to have that covered with the fabric. So if I look at the way that the fabric runs, sort of the grain of the fabric, I know that this is straight across and I've got a little bit of extra fabric here. I figure that's okay. Like I just wanna fold that back and then do the same thing on this side to get it squared up along with the and equal yeah along with the the line of the fabric so that I can then take that and I will attach each side like that and then this little piece here will remain loose as well just like the back dorsal fin that we've got going up here okay, so that's just going to we're going to have loose fabric there and loose fabric there that we will later be able to either cut into strips for some interesting effects under the water or cover it all with silicone or we shall see but the way i have it positioned i've got my stitch section all the way down to the bottom because i want it to wrap around the back of my heels and go all the way down to the bottom so that'll probably shorten the body of the tail a little bit, but I think we have plenty and it should last okay, just like that. So we're back to the same little bottle of silicone that we started with. And I am going to just run a bead down. And anchor it. And then another bead, I'm going to run along right around alongside of that one. This is just to anchor the fabric. This isn't for any of the silicone detailing. smidge right in the center because it's okay if we get overlap because the whole thing is going to end up being covered in silicone anyways <laughs> so again we're working with clear silicone So we have the sides of the tail attached to each other. And the monofin. So I just want that to set up because the next time I go at this, I want to be able to pull at it and start to really, really stick it on and start doing some detailing and filling out in silicone. So yeah, there we go so far. Okay, so we got some fabric stuck onto the fin 
And I think now I have to get sort of artistic with how this is going to go. So this is what I'm thinking. Okay, so the bottom of the tail, as you kind of saw before, uh, the way we have the darts cut and the way it's anchored on the back now, basically gives a big triangle. What I want to do, I think, is make it a proper triangle and in the end have the point stretched out a little further than the plastic so that I get a loose edge and I'm thinking I'm actually going to end up having some silicone sort of running off of the ends. So what I want to do is I want to anchor it all the way up to where we have this corner on the fin. And again, I mean, all this is going to be fluttering around in the water or stuck on with silicone or whatever. So if I've got some jaggedy edges, I don't really think it's that big of a deal. So again, that kind of loosens that off. And that will wrap around the edge. So you can see it's the same on the top as it is on the bottom. And I will overlap that. And silicone each side. And then I'll have my little flappy bit. Close pin. Open that up, do both sides. Piece again. I think that's exactly what I want. That's exciting. And we'll do the other side the same way. You can see we're doing the same thing on the other side. This time I will actually just flip it over though so you can see. So yeah, our plastic corner again is cut off. So we've got a fairly large piece that is going to be kind of a nice little fluttery bit. All right, now I just need that to set up.